The Great War was devastating for many Europeans, drawing millions of deaths from all nations that participated. The Central Powers was composed of four nations, Bulgaria, the German Empire, the Ottoman Empire, and Austria-Hungary, and they were defeated in November 1918. Only one nation remains today, Bulgaria. Austria-Hungary split apart and four nations were born, Austria, Hungary, Yugoslavia, and Czechoslovakia. In World War II, Germany annexed Czechoslovakia in 1938 and returned the Slavic nation back to the Czechoslovakians, but now they were influenced by a new political ideology. In February 1948, the democracy was stripped away from the Czechoslovakians, which is better known as the Czechoslovakian coup d'etat. After World War II, Czechoslovakia was heavily influenced by the Soviet Union and the election season was right around the corner. The communists wanted to change the political landscape. The Interim National Assembly was created in October 1945 to govern until a proper election could be held in late spring. The assembly set 300 members which were divided from four regions, Bohemia, Slovakia, Moravia, and Silesia. Czechoslovakian voters were nervous for the election. The Soviets were at their doorstep, sending communist influence to the newly reformed nation. Election day was May 26, 1946, and the election results were stunning, giving the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia 31% of the vote, gaining 93 seats. Czechoslovakia National Social Party with 55 seats, and the Czechoslovakian People's Party with 46 seats. In the presidential election, the Czechoslovakian National Social Party won, electing Eduard Benish. Communists were livid, losing the election because the Democratic Party of Slovakia took a percentage of voters away from their cause. In turn, the Communists forced the Democratic Party of Slovakia out of commission. In World War II, the Halinka Slovak People's Party, backed by the Nazis, created false information about the Democratic Party of Slovakia. They established the Slovak Action Committee. The goal of the committee was to stop the communist movement in Czechoslovakia, which was led by the Minister of Interior, Václav Nosek. A board of commissions was held by the old Democratic Party of Slovakia. The people did not want an unbiased committee, and no political party held the majority. After the election of 1946, Czechoslovakia's economy was taking a turn for the worst. Like most European nations, at the time, reconstruction costs took a toll on housing, roadways, and infrastructure budgets. Nations looked west for financial aid. The United States funded the rebuilding of Czechoslovakia but took back their loans. This was because the new political system was not aligned with the U.S. stance of not backing a communist regime. There was also concerns with a possible rearmament of Germany. The main issues that needed to be addressed were salaries of state employees, property reform, and security control of the nation. Its politics, salaries, and property reform did not change. In February, the communists were taking root and eliminating non-communist national police force officials. Czechoslovakian communists used their power to threaten non-communist leaders to hand over the election. The communists put their foot down using their newly acquired security control. Nine days later, eight non-communist senior police officials were not reinstated, and 12 non-communist ministers resigned in retaliation. February 24, 1948, 2.5 million workers took to the streets in a general strike. They were striking for communism in Czechoslovakia. While this was happening, National Social Party members were being arrested. Everyone was at odds being questioned about their support for the so-called reform. On February 25th, Benish gave in to the communist demands and handed his cabinet over to the party. Rigged elections were held in May to validate the communist victory. A totalitarian system was created and finalized in 1953. All forms of government changed to fit the communist needs and filled any seats with supporters. These included authorities, businesses, and political organizations. At the end of May, the National Assembly election was held. Opposers to the communist candidate were given a white ticket to vote with. White ticket voters' votes did not count towards their candidate because they were easily picked out of the general election votes. After the election, two crucial laws were passed. Act 247, 1948, which pushed enemies of the democracy into forced labor camps. And Act Number 231, 1948, which added a new special criminal law, which is the equivalent of being treasonous. From here on out, all Czechoslovakian elections were rigged for the communists until 1992. 
The next year, on January 1, 1993, Czechoslovakia separated peacefully, forming the Czech Republic and Slovakia. The Czechoslovakian coup d'etat plagued these nations for too long, limiting their potential growth in the modern century. Thank you for reaching the end of this lesson. Claude's History Course teaches history buffs about the importance of world history. For more informational videos like these, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Comment down below on which person or event you want to see covered next. We will see you on another lesson soon on Claude's History Course.